Okay, guys. Fireflies are close. Shoot or be shot. Hi, everybody. Fuckers. Winnipeg River Jet here. We're going with the uh, 9mm variable rifle. Covert Training 2. Good to go. New loadout uh, Jack of All Trades 1, which has Strategist 1, Sharp Ears 1, Crafter 1, Covert Training 1. There's one other one I can't think of off the top of my head. I've also have in this loadout Reviver 1 and Explosion Expert 1. We're out here in suburbs. Dangerous spot. Is the guy going to come down the steps to my right? Not this time. I just played with the same loadout previously in a game just before this, and I was very successful going 8, 7, and 1. And I figured, well, I'll try it again on Suburbs and see what happens. Give this a little bit more serious evaluation since I recently just purchased Jack of All Trades. Yeah, I think you saw me. Here's a great bonus about that is. Bomb set, watch your ass. Gotta love the crafting part. It saves you a couple seconds on that stuff. Nice start to the game. Two and two, two and two. Shotgun. What can you really expect, right? But considering we've only died two or three times, I'm a bit surprised that the guy could pull that out so early. Oh, Brawler 1's the other, the other aspect of Jack of All Trades. Which, in the previous game I just played, it came in very, very useful. Although I'm not one for just running into rooms and punching it all out. This is obviously, as you already see, is not one of those um, fast paced running gun matches that you sometimes encounter on The Last of Us. Not necessarily hardcore camping where people are just not moving at all. Well, a good example why I love having Reviver 1 in a loadout. Me. I'm fucking dying over here. Wait a sec. I'll fix you up. Thank you. Now it's true, if I had my own shotgun or assault rifle loaded out here, I mean, I would uh, just go guns a-blazing in, but... Got some throwables here, let's see if we can put them a good use. And it's good that a teammate marked them, actually. If players are not using, um... Covert 3... The advantage of uh, marking players, even if you don't shoot them, is very, very helpful. The bonus of ex Explosion Expert 1 there. I have a figure and they're gonna spawn and where the cars are. It's 
So let's see what happens here. Does this pay off? Four, four, and one. Let's make that five, four, and one. If you are playing a match and you're deciding to go solo, kind of away from your teammates, and for the most part you're not around them, you gotta be able to win those battles. But more importantly, you gotta be able to get there in times when they do need you. I can't keep going like this. You can't just be going all web aligns yourself sometimes. Firefly, watch yourself. <laughs> I think my teammate was maybe trying to get around him, see if he could shiv him. I'm not sure, but I was telling him I was coming up behind him. All done. Let's go. So there was some nice work there with the microphone. I was communicating to him. It looks sweeter not telling you that stuff, but uh, but yeah, that looked good. I've been on the short end of that a few times in the games. Okay, that was my bomb I planted you saw earlier, actually. Surprisingly. Supporting the flank. I would have to give uh, Jack of All Trades a, a certainly a thumbs up, provided it depends on what other loadout skills you go with it. Well done. Well done. <sighs> Definitely um, because it has Brawler 1 and Crafter 1. Sharp Ears doesn't hurt at all, really, when you think about it. Firefly, watch yourself. Fucker down. All right, there's the match, and I went uh, eight, seven, and one with one revive. Thanks for watching. Give me your thoughts about Jack of All Trades too.